Google Webmaster Tools Internal Links Hello and welcome back again. In this quick video session we're going to touch base with internal links. Internal links are basically hyperlinks that links other parts of your website um, with, with um, using hyper um, hyperlinks and hypertext and so on okay whether it's your navigation menu whether it's um, links throughout your copy whether it's links in the footer element okay internal links are links linking other parts and other pages of your website together yeah, as far as Google Webmaster Tools is concerned Google makes available information that it is aware of um, regarding our internal links okay so if I was to press on the internal links menu option it's gonna show me this page I can quickly you know have different rows showing let me go up to 500 rows and as we can see all these links classified as internal links as far as Google is concerned okay let me press on this to get more insights about Google saying you know what I'm aware of this many links which are classified as internal meaning th this is all within my own domain so all the links linking other parts and other documents and whatnot okay and as we can see um, I've got PDF versions of my pages and I've uploaded them to my own server and as you can see they are also classified as internal links okay you can quickly use this little um, arrow button here and actually press on it and see what that page is all about okay now let's have a look at a couple of things because I think it's very important most SEO services or SEO experts and so on because they understand the internal links are important what they will tend to do is they end up ha you know having internal links at places where they shouldn't for example um, this mob here as we can see they're offering SEO services but because in their mind they're thinking internal links are important they end up creating internal links at places which I believe is actually not smart because remember everything you put on your website and landing pages as in your presentation of your landing pages if you place a link anywhere then you're basically telling your visitor to click that link now, in this particular example, I can confidently say, you know what? You know, like we're saying, what is SEO, right? So he or she is trying to explain what that is, but then the first keyword is actually an internal link. So that means they've just asked me to go and visit this particular landing page, right? But, you know, they haven't actually told me what SEO was before they said that to me. Okay, so you have to always consider user experience before you start creating internal links. Okay, so let me close this. Let's have a look at my own website. I've got internal links throughout my menu structure because that's where you should be doing internal linking for, for uh, user experience, right? And also for SEO as well because uh, clean easy to find navigation will increase the experience that you, your users and visitors um, will have on your own website and at the end of the day when you think of SEO and user experience then remember user experience comes first then SEO comes second in the importance letter okay because if you really understand it you will realize that user experience is actually part of SEO so your job is not only to have high Google rankings but also to to allow your users to have a great experience when they come and visit your landing pages okay so having navigation menu is smart also on my main website I've actually kept the internal linking at minimum okay meaning I want to pass my message on to my visitor first before I want them to click here or there go to other parts of my own website okay so as we can see here this is also classified as internal linking 
yeah, most templates and web design um, themes and so on, okay, they will have footer section. So footer section also gives you an ability to interlink your own website together. So I encourage you to utilize that portion of your website. Um, also consider strongly you know, where you should be placing your internal links if it's on your copy. Because remember, every time you place a link, you want your visitors to go there. So therefore, think of the flow of uh, consumption of your information before you want your visitors to click and go to another part of your website, okay? Also, HTML sitemaps are a great way for you to be able to interlink your entire website, okay? And I'll give you a tip um, or an insight I will share with you is that most sitemaps, as in HTML sitemaps, most people only, you know, have just links of their entire website. Okay? That's a great way to have a sitemap, but what's actually even better is for you to place a little bit more detail about that page, as in, place some text around the links that you have on your sitemap, HTML sitemap, okay? Because that will actually be not only a better user experience, because before they my visitor clicks this, they may actually read to get a glimpse at what they're going to find on this particular landing page, right? But at the same time, Google will also come and, you know, actually index this page. And while it does index it, it's also going to index the, the text around it as well. So, if you have HTML sitemaps, consider placing a bit of textual content um, around your links on your HTML sitemap. So, once again, remember, internal links are important, but for the sake of SEO, you don't just place internal links, you know, where you shouldn't, okay? User experience comes first, then internal links come second. And always utilize a clean navigation menu for your linking structure. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you haven't subscribed to Rankia SEO Services YouTube channel, I encourage you to do so because I will be adding more useful videos for website owners like me and you. Thank you. Bye-bye.